In our sky is this one star, either Ball or Betelgeuse, a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous and very unstable about to explode. Get ready for a cosmic disaster of never-before-seen scale. Betelgeuse, the red giant star on the edge of our galaxy, is sending scary signs through space. Astronomers have found something deeply troubling about this huge object in space using the James Webb Space Telescope. Well-known scientist Brian Cox has issued a very serious warning. The question that keeps coming up is are we about to see a supernova explosion so huge it will change the night sky forever? In the vastness of the universe stars are born, live and die in amazing ways. Recently one star has caught the attention and concern of both astronomers and regular people. This is Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star that stands out in the constellation Orion. It is very big and very old. Its unique reddish color and changing brightness have long been of interest, but recent events have intensified the focus on this cosmic giant. As we learn more about Betelgeuse, we may be on the verge of a potentially extremely important event in its history. But what might these changes mean? Are we seeing the start of a cosmic show on an unimaginably huge scale? Betelgeuse is a stellar giant about 764 times bigger than our Sun. It is so huge that if it were to replace our Sun, its surface would reach beyond Mars' orbit and wrap around Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars not only does this immense size highlight Betelgeuse's physical grandeur, but it also reveals what stage of its life cycle it is in. As a red supergiant Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. It is expanding and cooling during this phase, which follows the fusion of hydrogen into helium in its core. As for its age, the star is thought to be between 8 and 8.5 million years old young in human terms, but very old in stellar lifetimes. It has changed dramatically over millions of years, evolving from a hot blue star into the red giant we see today. Its unique red color comes from its cooler surface temperature, about 3,500 K, compared to the sun's 5,500 K. Because of this, it emits more light in the red part of the spectrum. But this color is not just cosmetic, it tells us about the star's internal processes and stage of life. Historical records add to the mystery. Roman and Chinese writings suggest Betelgeuse was yellow 2,000 years ago, while 9th century Arabic observers described it as red. This color shift is a significant clue to its ongoing evolution. Betelgeuse is also a semi-regular variable star, meaning its brightness rises and falls in cycles. It has a 400-day cycle and a longer 5-year cycle. These fluctuations have fascinated observers for centuries. In 1836, Sir John Herschel noted them, and indigenous oral traditions may go back even further. But what makes Betelgeuse especially mysterious is its irregular behavior. Unlike other variable stars with predictable patterns, Betelgeuse's changes are often erratic. This suggests complex, poorly understood processes occurring inside the star. In late 2019, something extraordinary happened the great dimming. Betelgeuse, normally among the brightest stars in the night sky, began to dim, rapidly losing 0.01 magnitudes of brightness per day. By February 2020, it was at its faintest, startling astronomers and casual stargazers alike. Because Betelgeuse is about 725 light years away, we are seeing it as it was roughly 700 years ago. This time delay complicates efforts to monitor real time changes. The dimming was a reminder of the limits of observational astronomy and how much we still don't know. Dr. Andrea Dupree of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics and her team used the Hubble Space Telescope to track the dimming. Hubble's ultraviolet sensitivity allowed them to study the layers above the star's surface revealing signs of hot dense gas moving outward at about 200,000 miles per hour. This outflow eventually cooled and formed a dust cloud that obscured part of the star causing the dimming. During the three-month outburst Betelgeuse lost about twice the usual amount of material, an especially dramatic event. Astronomers debated whether this was a precursor to a supernova. Given its relative proximity to Earth a supernova from Betelgeuse would be visible even in daylight. Spectroscopic studies showed Betelgeuse's surface temperature dropped by at least 170 K during the dimming supporting the theory of large surface disturbances. The future of Betelgeuse is now one of the hottest topics in modern astrophysics. Some believe we are on the verge of witnessing a dramatic transformation, possibly a supernova that could outshine an entire galaxy. This would be a rare opportunity to study such an event up close. Scientists are using simulations historical data and models to refine their predictions. 
Beetlejuice's dramatic mass loss also allows researchers to explore how red supergiants shed material, a key part of stellar evolution. The dynamics behind this mass ejection could reshape our understanding of how stars die. Theories about mass loss rates in red supergiants are now being questioned due to the sheer scale of this event. Betelgeuse is moving through space at about 67,000 miles per hour, creating a bow shock a wave like structure in the interstellar medium. This interaction tells us more about its motion and mass loss history. Even years after the dimming Betelgeuse remains unstable. Models link convection mass ejection and pulsation changes in a complex feedback loop. The star's mass loss rate is unusually high hinting at intense internal dynamics. So is Betelgeuse about to go supernova, no one knows for sure. But the recent ejection has shifted the conversation and suggests that the end may be closer than previously thought. As scientists focus on Betelgeuse, they are also studying supernova SN 2023X, discovered in Messier 101 in May 2023. This is the closest supernova in recent years and offers a valuable comparison for understanding Betelgeuse's potential fate. Discovered by amateur astronomer Koichi Itagaki using a 0.35M telescope, SN 2023X rapidly brightened and attracted attention worldwide. Comparisons between it and Betelgeuse may help scientists refine their theories on stellar death. The arrival of SN 2023X has brought fresh urgency to Betelgeuse research. This recent supernova, though much farther away than Betelgeuse, is helping astronomers refine the signatures and warning signs of a star on the verge of collapse. By studying how SN 2023X behaved before and after the explosion, scientists are building a more accurate picture of what to expect from Betelgeuse if and when it follows the same path. Another key tool in this effort is the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, with its unparalleled sensitivity in the infrared spectrum JWST, can peer through dust clouds and observe subtle temperature changes allowing scientists to monitor the star's outer layers more precisely than ever before. Recently, JWST revealed new irregularities in Betelgeuse's behavior, tiny fluctuations in temperature shifts in light curves and disturbances in its surrounding material that hint at internal turmoil. Meanwhile, theoretical models are evolving quickly. Astrophysicists are feeding new observational data into simulations of red supergiant stars. These models now account for turbulent convection zones, asymmetric mass loss, and magnetic field dynamics, all of which may play a role in triggering a supernova. Some simulations suggest that Betelgeuse could explode within the next few decades, while others estimate it might take another 100,000 years.